Have you ever heard about the Titanic and the Federal Reserve Theory? So, on the Titanic, there were some seriously rich folks on board like J.P. Morgan, John Rockefeller, and the Rothschilds. But the real player here was Jacob Astor, the richest guy in the world back then. He owned a whopping 40% of all mortgages and was a Freemason who strongly opposed the idea of a central bank. On the flip side, you had J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller, and the Rothschilds who were all big supporters of a central bank. Now, Jacob Astor was the one guy standing in the way of this central bank idea. Coincidentally, on the morning the Titanic was set to sail, J.P. Morgan, some Rothschilds, and others quietly slipped off the ship without much explanation. Five days later, the Titanic hits an iceberg and starts to sink. Even though Jacob Astor was the richest man on board, he couldn't find a spot in a lifeboat and went down with the ship. Shortly after this tragic event, the likes of J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller, and the Rothschilds became the wealthiest people in the world, all without Jacob Astor blocking their way. Then, in the following year, 1913, on Jekyll Island in Georgia, the Federal Reserve Act was signed into law. This act paved the way for the creation of money out of thin air and complete control over our monetary system. Many years later, a secret mission related to the Titanic was put forth. I will reveal it in part three.